Day six. It's the afternoon right now, and I'm going to be going to pick up my boxes, which is amazingly crazy because I've been waiting on doing this entire ICEO thing for months. We put it up in March, but <clears throat> you know, there's been a long leeway time before that. So, finally ready to go. And I'm going to be meeting the um, driver, the truck driver, of, um, or however they're shipping it, in about an hour. Um, I didn't really plan that much ahead because I don't have a helper right now. I don't have anyone to help me do it. It's going to suck because I have, I have a tiny little car. I drive a little Fiat. And um, <laughs> they're going to bring like a pallet or something full of, of uh, these boxes that are flat. And then I'm going to have to like sort of put some in my car and drive back and then go back and hopefully no one took them and I don't know it's gonna be weird but I'm excited it's gonna be crazy so I'm just waiting for the guy the truck driver um, at the storage unit and of course I get here when another truck unloads <laughs> so another truck is unloading a whole bunch of crap and it's like crap it's gonna completely block my shit Hopefully they'll be done soon, but I think I'm going to be here for quite a while. Cause this is how much trunk space I have. I don't even think that's going to fit anything. There's the truck. Two boxes of my um, boxes. But we're getting more out. Here they are. All wrapped up, ready to go. I have to get them off this wood pallet thing because last time I took this wood pallet or a couple of these and I had nothing, uh, I couldn't use them for anything. There goes the truck. Just signed my paperwork and look at how many boxes. That's a lot of boxes. Boxes of boxes. Right now I have to figure out how I'm going to get them home, <laughs> so. How are those gonna fit in there? Not gonna happen. You're gonna get creative. Not successful. That's totally full. And I still have that and another one in the hall. I can't fit everything in my Fiat, so I ended up renting their moving truck which is actually a free truck when you uh, get a storage unit here. Truck in time. I didn't, I didn't think I would be doing this, but when life gives you lemons, you make do. Luckily, I live really, really, really close. I'm not a huge fan of driving gigantic vehicles. Oh, oh, oh. Damn it, dude. I'm gonna get out of here. All right, so not all of the boxes fit in my storage unit, which I expected. So I'm bringing some back to my place, which I will promptly ship out. And then I'll make some room for, you know, the rest of everything that didn't fit. Hey, so we uh, have a detour here because of uh, old Skyler. <laughs> it's so hot that I can't <laughs> keep any train of thought. And I realized I couldn't even lift one of those boxes because I was so famished. So now we're going to go eat. Then we'll do all the moving and then we'll pack up the boxes that need to get shipped out. Because all day I've been getting emails like, hey, is the ICEO getting shipped out yet? So, yes it is. So where are we going? We are going to go to Five Guys, because Arch has never been. Grateful. Hey, they're from Oregon. Hey, Oregon. I didn't oh, even notice that. I don't think that's I Oregon. I they were grateful. Oh. It doesn't look like Oregon. Five Guys. Maybe. In your mouth. <laughs> yeah, Who 
Whoop. Good. That, I think that speaks for itself. It was like two, two minutes, one minute later. It was really good. It was really, really good. If you want to get with this car, there's some things you gotta know. I like my Fiat Fast and my little car. <laughs> But you can't say car twice. You can't run car with car. And my car. What are we running with? Not slow. And my car not slow. <laughs> <laughs> so fast. Yellow. Well, let's go break that window. Okay, so we're back. And here are the boxes that I've been talking about and waiting for. And I get to see them for the first time. Eva. And I'm excited. Mm. So much anticipation with paper, paper, paper. Ooh, snap. snap. Okay, so this is the back. It's, they're all folded, and this is the front. <laughs> wow, it looks really good. It's like pro packaging. I think people are really going to appreciate it. There it is. Boom. Pretty cool. So we're gonna put um, little numbers at the bottom to indicate which number they are, because we've made 1,200. And yeah, looks cool. There's a doll. We have to put <laughs> all these dolls in the boxes like so. How's it look? Good. Solid. We wanted it to be like a box <clears throat> that was something you would keep, you know, in the box if you wanted to and still be able to see the whole doll. I like it a lot. The other boxes are just shipping boxes, so we'll be able to put the dolls inside of the box like so and ship it out. Whew. Crazy, right? Here's some of the dolls that we'll be shipping out. As you can see, they they don't have glasses. The glasses were purchased separately. They look like that. We have boxes of those here. <clears throat> here we go! I'm just looking through the orders. These are just like everybody's pending for ICEO. So the first early ones are uh, in the States, which means they'll be getting theirs like this week, which is like psycho. Like that's so cool. Cause I can't wait, my, my thing that I've been waiting to see is people's pictures and unboxings and everything like that. Like that's gonna be so, so, so cool. So I'm excited. <laughs> This is about five, four trips in my car. Doesn't close, does it? You can fit two back there. The troubles of a small car. <laughs> hey, there's no room. Well, my co-pilot here. Box. I don't think I mentioned this. Um, the reason why I'm not just using that big moving truck is because I I got into the truck and I put all the boxes that couldn't fit in the storage unit into the truck. And then I was like, man, this is gonna be such a pain in the ass. I have to go kind of a strange way to where um, I'm going kind of through some small spaces. And I drive a re really small car. So I'm like, I would rather just take my car rather than having to maneuver through all these roundabouts and everything and all these neighborhoods to get to my place. So I basically just rented that truck as a store, a little mini storage unit because um, at least I don't have to worry about the boxes being in the hallway or something like that. Cause that's what I was worried was I needed to make like really quick trips to my place. But, um, so yeah, that's why, that's why I rented a truck that I'm using 
but not actually driving. So we're doing a little teamwork here. Skylar is taking the dolls out of the bags, putting the glasses on the dolls, and I am uh, folding the boxes that are flat and turning them into folded boxes. Wait till you see some of these. We noticed that the glasses kind of get jostled around, um, especially when it's in the box. So what I decided to do is sew the uh, glasses onto the face. And it's just a really simple, small stitch. It's really difficult to see anyway. To make a little stitch and do a little knot or two. Clip it really close, and there we go. Now it's a lot better, it's not gonna fall off. All right, so very, very long but productive day. So everything is starting to be ready to be shipped out. I just, now it's time to start shipping. It's crazy. Um, I already have a pile over there stacked up. And uh, it's gonna be many days of working and shipping and shipping and shipping we kind of did the rough math and it's like 20 something days <laughs> if i work just non-stop shipping them but uh i'm excited it's all you know it's all coming true it's something i really wanted to do for a long time and i'm really just thrilled that so many people liked this project this product i should say and um yeah it's just really it's really awesome so anyway I'll see you guys mm, tomorrow mm -hmm.